Close Sports Pulse, USA Today Sports Steve DiMeglio discusses the upcoming tournament and why it will present many obstacles for the golfers. USA Today After a top 5 finish earlier this month at the Quicken Loans National, Tiger Woods is back on the course this week looking for his first major championship victory since the 2008 U.S. Open. The 14-time major champion is competing in golf's third major, the Open Championship, this week at Carnoustie Golf Links in Scotland. Tiger opened play on Thursday with an even par 71, and followed suit with another 71 on Friday. Then he shot a 5 under 66 on Saturday and was tied for the lead at one point. He begins Sunday play four shots off the lead, Tiger tees off at 9.25 a.m. E.T. alongside Francesco Molinari. Follow along for shot-by-shot -shot analysis of his final round. Hole 11 par 4 Tiger was so solid off the tee all weekend, but the last few holes he's struggled. His iron on number 11 goes right into the rough. Could be a miss hit, could be the left to right wind in his face. His approach was into the wind again, gusting near 20 miles per hour, and he completely loses this one left. It hits the gallery and kicks out into the rough behind the green. Not good, this won't be easy. He doesn't have a lot of green to work with, with a bunker guarding the pin, and he flops this one about two feet short of his desired landing spot, and it catches a slope and rolls back. Better than the bunker, though, his tee shot finds the fairway bunker, and now it's decision time. He's got a burn in front of the green, so if he goes for it, he's tempting fate. If he lays up, he risks the chance of keeping the lead, which he has all to himself for now. He gives this one all he has and finds the front of the green. That was his best shot of the weekend, no question. Tiger's putt is from about 20-some feet and just misses to the right. Par 2 under through 10, 7 under for the tournament, thoughts at the turn my colleague Steve DiMeglia wrote about how we saw a vintage Tiger Woods on Saturday, and we're seeing it again today. He's doing exactly what he needs to do, take advantage of opportunities when they arise and avoid mistakes. He's played it safe and taken chances at the perfect time, and his putter has the touch today. It can't be said enough how impressive he's been this week, especially off the tee. He was forced to scramble a bit down the stretch on the front, getting up and down perfectly from bunkers twice. After Jordan Spieth and Xander Shoffley dropped strokes early, Tiger heads to the back nine tied for the lead, the back nine on Sunday. Buckle up. His conservative game plan is working perfectly this week. Well, he's going to have to scramble here to save par and remain in the lead after finding the bunker with his approach. That's right, Jordan Spieth and Xander Shoffley both dropped shots to give Tiger a share of the lead at 7-under. His out is solid, just like last time. He rolls up within 5 feet of the cup for another great par save, 2-under through 9, 7-under for the tournament, hole 8 par 3 and here comes his first mistake of the day. His tee shot finds the greenside bunker to the right of the hole, but he's in the middle with green to work with. Not awful, but certainly not what he needs down one with Jordan Spieth in trouble behind him. Perfect out for Tiger, rolling up to the cup within a few feet to set up a par save, 2 under through 8, 7 under for the tournament, hole 7 par 4 Tiger's now just one shot off the lead, and his iron shot here on no. 7 finds the fairway to the right. Playing into the 20 miles per hour wind he flights this one safely to the front part of the green, avoiding the bunker that guards the hole. He's got a lengthy birdie putt to try and take a share of the lead. This one was close but doesn't quite get there. Par. 2 under through 7, 7 under for the tournament, hole 6 par 5 driver here for Tiger and he thought he was in trouble. You could hear him muttering to himself as his ball tracked towards a right fairway bunker, but he avoided it unlike his playing partner. He got lucky with a bad swing there. Tiger goes for it here with three wood and catches it perfectly. He's either on the edge of the green or the fringe, with a great chance to score here. Chirp chirp chirp. 
2 under through 6, 7 under for the tournament. Leaderboard update, Tiger picked up 2 strokes on the leader Xander Shoffley and Jordan Spieth who both bogeyed the drop to 8 under. Kevin Kisner holed out from a bunker to birdie and get 7 under, tied with Tiger for 3rd place, hole 5 par 4 another iron off the tee and it's another beauty in the fairway. His approach finds the green just short of a massive slope that guards the hole. His birdie putt gets up the hill and lags just to the right of the cup. Tap and par, 1 under through 5, 6 under for the tournament. Leaderboard update, Xander Shoffley and Jordan Spieth are still tied for the lead at 9 under, followed by Tiger, Molinari, Kevin Chappelle and Kevin Kisner at 6 under, full 4 par 4 Tiger goes with the big dog again again, plays this one pretty well. His driver has looked good early, with this one landing in the right rough and rolling into the short cut. Not bad. Tiger went for the pin with his approach and does pretty well here, landing about 15 feet short of the cup. For the fourth day in a row Tiger birdies the fourth hole. One under through four, six under for the tournament, hole three, par four another iron off the tee and Tiger keeps this one low and finds the fairway. 128 yards from the pin with 20 plus mph wind at his back, Tiger has a decision to make here. The pin is in the front left of the green and guarded by a burn stream in front. He throws this one into the wind and goes about 40 to 50 feet above the hole to the right center of the green. Safe shot, not bad at all. Not a bad putt here, lagging to within a few feet for a two-putt par. Even through 3-5 under for the tournament, leaderboard update, everybody is on the course right now and the pair of 24-year-old Xander Schaufel and Jordan Spieth playing in the final group are still atop the leaderboard at 9 under par. Kevin Kisner double bogeyed number 2 and dropped to 7 under, hole 2 par 4 driver here for Tiger and he's on the left edge of the fairway. He's not straying away from his conservative game plan, the wind is almost 20 miles per hour blowing into his face. Tiger's 7 iron approach is pin high but on the fringe. He'll be able to putt, but it's not an easy birdie chance. Tiger played this one to have a big left to right break but it didn't move much, leaving about 5 feet for par. He's makes the putt and remains even through 2, 5 under for the tournament, hole 1 par 4 and we're off. Donning his famed Sunday red, Tiger goes iron off the tee here and it's in the fairway. His approach found the green just over 10 feet short of the hole, setting up a birdie chance on no. One the putt had a slight break and misses by about an inch. Par, even through one, five under for the tournament.